Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another NASCAR Diecast review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Martin Truex Jr. 2022 Bass Pro Shops 124 scale liquid color elite by Lionel Racing. Alright, before we get to the diecast itself, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging. It comes in your standard 124 scale half box for 2022 featuring the Chrome Foil Elite logo on the side. That is the only difference really between the Elite box and the ARC box is that Elite logo. Got some 124 scale and Lionel branding on the side here. Next gen 2022 season. Car comes on the space protected by a plastic bubble. This is liquid color, so it says that on top. Lionel Garage or Lionel Racing.com and the NASCAR Cup Series logo. The other difference, of course, on this end here, the difference would be the RCCA Elite logo and a goldish production sticker that says Martin Truex Jr. Number 19, Bass Pro Shops 2022 Camry Elite Liquid Color, one of 24. This side of the box is the same as the other side. And on the bottom, we have all your relevant legal information. Included with the Elites, you get your Elite Certificate of Authenticity, which is basically the same as last year's. The only difference is they give you a spot to write your um, serial number and how many were made. So that is what comes with the car. Let's go ahead and take a look at the die cast now. Starting off here on the window banner, we have Toyota, Truex Jr., and in between that, we have the cooling inlet. On the hood, we have Johnny Morris's Bass Pro Shops, which is celebrating their 50th anniversary in 2022, so we got that right there as well. Got Toyota Camry, 19, and Joe Gibbs Racing below the headlights. Got that notched front splitter. Sunoco in front of the front tires. Goodyear in white above the front tires. Got the low-profile next-gen Goodyear Eagles, as well as the center lock wheel and silver details for the lug. Got the NASCAR Cup Series logo here right for the number 19. Got the exhaust on the rocker box on both sides, right below the number 19. Up on the roof rail here, we have Martin Truex Jr. Number 19 on the roof, as well as the two cameras, front and rear. We got the two holes to put the included antennas in, which I don't because I don't want to lose them. Got the molded in roof hatch right there on top of the bottom half of the nine. Got the functioning roof flaps. See if they'll pop open. There you go. There's one that will work for you. BassPro.com is the roof sponsor. Truex Jr. there on the rear window. Got Toyota Auto Owners. Got Cessna, Beechcraft, Noble, and J.D. Gibbs Legacy Foundation logo there on the B post. DeWalt can be found there on the C post. Bass Pro Shops, Tracker Boats, ATVs on the side. Here on the quarter panel, we have the Get Bioethanol logo. Research Fine Foods and TRD as well on the rocker box. As you can see, the Liquid color is the orange, which would be the dropout color, as Lionel calls it. The standard orange is a brighter orange. The liquid color turns that bright orange pretty much into something that looks kind of wet, in my opinion. This is serial number 21 of 24. Back here on the rear deck lid, we have Cabela's, Doosan, Interstate Batteries, Mac Tools, Siemens, Mobile One, Sean Williams, and Lincoln Welders. The rear deck lid does open up. There ain't too much detail in there that you can see anyways. We do have the silver painted details for the hardware that fastens the clear Lexan part of the spoiler to the black part there. We do have the rear diffuser sticking out the bottom of the car. Toyota, of course, tracker boats, ATVs, Camry, number 19, all on the TV panel, as well as the simulated Toyota Camry rear uh, taillights. Right side of the car is more or less the same as the left side. There's that uh, exhaust once again looking at the bottom of the car here we'll remove the bottom underwing here in a minute once again you got your DIN number right there 21 car features working steering being that it is an elite it does have die cast chassis the bottom underwing here is removable RCCA elite there there's your rear diffuser fins and rear diffuser that goes out the rear bumper there Got the cloth window net here on the driver's side. Full digital dash detail. It's hard to see in there, though. You can see the red fire extinguishers towards the front end of the car now. Go ahead and look under the hood here. Here you go. Under the hood here, we have Wix, Mobile One, Toyota, and Bass Pro Shops. Now, as I mentioned, you got the simulated cooling vents on the hood that would lead into the actual cooling inlets. For the engine and everything right there got the red trd valve covers so that is everything on the outside of the car what i'm going to do now is pause the video when i get back we'll take a look at the underside of the car by removing the underwing stay tuned be right back 
All right, got the screws out of the underwing. I'll show you, when you get the car, it'll be screwed in right here and right here to the plastic uh, base that I showed you in the box. And then you get four screws. There's one here, one there, there, and there. You unscrew those and you'll be able to remove the underwing like so. It's plastic, as you can see, it's just a plastic underwing. But then you have the actual chassis underneath of it that's metal. So you have detail for the working steering. You can see all that, the link linkages, the bottom of the engine and everything, the exhaust right there in black. Got the drive shaft. It's hard to see, but it goes below all this wiring and everything. Back here in the back, you have the rear end housing, bottom of the fuel cell. This car does feature working rear suspension. There you go. You can see it functioning there. There's the springs compressing in the back. Front suspension does work too, but obviously a little stiffer than the rear. Again, there's all the detail in the back. You got the sil uh, silver springs, real functioning springs, as I just showed you. Overall, it's a nicely detailed motor, or bottom of the chassis. Open up the hood, and now you'll be able to see straight through the car. You can see my finger there. Overall, it's a solid release by Lionel Racing and Liquid Color Limited to 24 produced. The details, you know, for the price point, they're they're really nice. I can't complain too much. I think the Elites could be a little cheaper and maybe a little more detailed, but overall, what you get for what you pay for, I think, is solid. If you enjoyed this review of Martin Truex Jr.'s 2022 Next Gen Bass Pro Shops Liquid Color Elite in 124 scale, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week, so be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonAStrain69. See you next time for an all-new diecast review. Bye.